let us understand the concept of individual versus market demand now let us say the market comprises of three individuals who are a b and c right so you have these three individuals who combine together in a market let's say at different prices 10 15 and 20 a demands three quantity of a particular good two quantity and two okay similarly at a price of 10 b demands three this this c demands this 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 and totally individually they demand this 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 and the total demand of three people is 40. Now when you say individual demand what you mean is the demand of each of these individuals which is demand of A which is 7 units or demand of B which is 12 units or demand of C which is 21 units. So this refers to the individual demand of consumers, individual consumers. When we talk about market demand, what we mean is the total demand of all the consumers in the market, which in this case is 40 units. So the difference is that while in individual demand, you look at what quantity each individual is demanding at different prices over a period of time. Let's say this was January, this was February, this was March. This demand which is there, particularly the market demand, is a very good indicator of the state of an economy in a country. If the total demand of a product is increasing, normally the economy is said to be in a very good state and vice versa. So therefore, as a market indicator, market demand is a very good indicator. 